Shalom, Yeshua, first and foremost, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelakim that preach the word in all truth and sincerity, along with the Israelite foreign brothers that are like the heathens, but the line of outside goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yikar, a moth by the lesson. And uh, today's lesson will be entitled, The Lord Will Be With the Elect in Jacob's Trouble. You know, because uh, pursuant to the scripture in uh, Psalms 34 and 7, it reads, the angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. That's right, man. You know, so that's a hedge of protection that the Lord is going to grant upon his, upon his elect man in Israel. You know, because it's going to get very bad in Jacob's trouble. You know, because, you know, when you go to Jeremiah, you know, 15... In uh, verse 2, it says, And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Such as for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. Right. You know, so... Uh, this is going to be happening on a high level in Jacob's trouble. You know, death, the sword, famine, and captivity. You know, death, you know, the scriptures talk about that, you know, uh, you know, the dead body is going gonna, is gonna to be like dung upon the earth. You know, and it's just going to be so in Jacob's trouble, you know, seeing a dead body, it is going to be so common, you know, because the Lord is going to be pouring out pure judgment. Upon these people, that's not of the elect, you know, beginning on with two thirds of, a, of our people, the wicked Israelites, you know, going on to Esau and these heathen nations, you know, the sword, you know, the, you know how about is going to send Esau the sword, which is uh, the so-called white man, you know, because uh, the Lord uh, uses Esau, which is his sword as a weapon to punish people. You know, mainly our people, you know, and the ultimate sword is going to be, you know, when um, ICBM missiles destroy this place in America to the famine. A lot of people going to be dying of famine, you know, lack of food, uh, lack of food or water, committing cannibalism. It says in captivity, people going to be in the female camps, you know, um, being idle, you know. It says, verse 3, and I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Right, man? So the Lord has different types of death for different types of individuals. You know, it's going to be certain people that's going to be, you know, going to be slain by the sword, by Esau. You know, it's going to be certain people that's going to be getting mauled to death by them, um, you know, dogs, man. The wolves, because remember, the animals, they're going to leave their natural habitats and they're going to be coming to the inner cities, you know, to, uh, you know, to, to, to eat people and stuff, man. And the Lord is going to put the spirit on them to do that. It says in the fowls of the heaven, the birds, the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. So the Lord is going to go all out, man, when he brings that judgment, you see. But the elect is going to be protected, man. You know, because when you go to Psalms 46, verse 7, it reads, The Lord, Yahweh of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Salah. Yes, yeah, so that applies to the elect of Israel. You know, Lord willing, that applies to us. We are part of the elect. Because Yahweh by Shemon is going to be with his elect in that time, man. You know, yeah, the Lord is going to test his elect to see whether... They're going to be faithful to him or not, or not taking the MOTB, the Kragma, the C hip, according to Revelation 13, 16. But it's already written that, you know, the elect uh, overcame the world, 
through the blood of Yahweh Shai. You see? So the elect, it's already written, the elect is going to pass the test. But, you know, at the same time, the Lord is going to test the elect to see whether they're going to have their integrity. You see? And, and we already know the elect is going to prevail. You know? And we go to Job chapter 5 and verse... 19, it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil test thee. And right, man. You know, so in six troubles, because remember, you know, the elect in the time of Jacob's trouble, they're going to be on the run. You know, and the Lord's going to be delivering them out of tough situations. You know, which will be the angel, once again, uh, uh, hedge, hedge around about them to protect them from... Uh, deliver them from um, certain uh, peril, perils, you see. But the seven says, yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. And the seven, we know seven represents completion. You know, and that seven is going to be the ultimate destruction of America. You know, and the, and the elect is not going to uh, die like that, man. Now the non-elect, the two-thirds of Israel and the wicked Israelites, the, uh, the two-thirds of Israel, which are the wicked Israelites, excuse me, and the heathen nations, they're going to partake in that seven, seven, um, seven trouble, which is going to be the ultimate destruction of America, Babylon the Great, when the missiles destroy this place, you see? But the elect is going to be delivered from that by the chariots of Israel when our Lord Yahweh Shai come back in the so-called UFOs, in the so-called UFOs, you see? Verse 20, and famine, he shall redeem thee from death, see? So in famine, man, because remember, the Lord said, my servant shall eat and drink. You know, we don't know how the Lord going to do it, but hey, the Lord, nothing is too hard for the Lord. You know, we have several accounts in the scriptures on how the Lord, uh, during times of famine, the Lord was uh, feeding his elect. You know, examples is uh, Elijah, Elisha, you know. So uh, many men of the Lord was off the grid, you know, King David, Moses, you know, um, John the Baptist, and they all were fed, and they all were taken care of from Yahweh Bashmon Shah because they were the they were of the elect. So the same thing, so the same thing is going to apply for the elect in these times. You see, it says, and in war from the power of the sword, which is Esau Edom. You know, because he's uh, the wicked, according to the Bible, and he was blessed with the sword. You know, because remember, he's going to come down with great wrath upon those that fear the Lord which are the Israelites, and he's going to, it's good to say that they're going to, uh, they're not going to spare none. You know, Esau, he's going to put that order out, that decree, to kill all Israelites, man. But he's not going to test his elect. Now, it is written that some of the elect is going to be beheaded, according to Revelation 24, not receiving the MOTB. But that's all to fulfill prophecy. You know, for the most part, the elect is going to be delivered. You know? So, Let's continue. It says, verse 21, Thou shalt be hid from the scores of the tongue. And right, and that's Esau's decrees, you know, orders to, if you see these Israelite men, high, uh, kill them or detain them and, and apprehend them and bring them back to us, there will be a war for, for people who see these men and detain them. Because remember, it's going to be all out of hell against us, man. You know, people are going to be really going to try to, uh, you know, People are really going to be uh, trying to be uh, hunt, uh, hunting, hunting us, man. Uh, bounty hunters on our heads, you know. Because Esau knows that, you know, we with Yahweh by Shimon Shai. He knows we have power. So he's going to try to uh, kill us, man. You see? It says, but the Lord said we're going to be hid. You see? This is how the Lord hid Elijah, you know, for three and a half years. From King Ahab, the wicked king of Israel, and he was ordering a lot of people to look for him, but they couldn't find him. So that's going to be the same thing for the elect in these times. It says, Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Why? Because, you know, we're expecting this, these things to come. You know, now when it happens, of course, you know, we're going to be, because remember the Lord said, you know, he um, he going to show new marvels in the earth. So it's gonna be strange wonders and strange marvels that the Lord gonna be doing, man. And yeah, we you know might shake us up, but what comforts what comfort us is to know that hey, the Lord did say He was gonna do this, you know. 
And then that's when the comforter will set in. Well, hey, hey, that's the Lord's judgment, man. Let the Lord, let the Lord will be done, you know. And we're not gonna be afraid because now we have a we have accepted it because the Lord has told us these things by way of the prophecies before it happened. You see, it says verse twenty two. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. See, so that's a hell of a spirit to have, man. And Jacob Shrubble, you, you out here laughing, people is crying and, and lamenting and mourning, and you laughing. That's a hell of a spirit that the Lord is going to place upon the elect. And it's not going to be our own spirit, it's going to be the Lord's spirit on us, man. The Lord willing, we those men, you know. And we're not going to be afraid of the beasts of the earth because. As it's going to say in verse 23, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field because the elect, the Lord is going to grant the elect, some of the elect brothers in the faith of spiritual power to defend themselves. And they're going to be able to manipulate the elements around them, you know, from the stones of the field, you know, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So that's why the elect is not going to be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Because the beast is going to be in, in, in unison with the elect. You know, who knows? You know, just like when uh, Elijah, you know, um, it wasn't a beast, but it was a fowl. Birds, the ravens, they were at peace with Elijah. You know, so the Lord can have a, you know, the Lord, if, for example, you may be in the wilderness and you might see a bear or something and. The bear turns out to be on your side, man. He he not harming you. He may bring you some salmon or something. The Lord can put spirits on animals to do anything. So this, you know, just an example of what the Lord can do. The Lord did that with the ravens for Elijah. So the Lord can put the spirit on the bear to do it, man. You know, a bear to so happen to, you know, have some salmon and you know, around the, the area where he's at. And then he just come and drop the assignment to you, man. Because the Lord put the spirit on him to do that. So the Lord can do that, man. You know? Remember, the Lord is omnipotent. He's, you know, he can't, uh, he can't keep the Lord in a box, man. He can't put the Lord in a box. You know? So, so yeah, man. So I just want to do a lesson on that. You know, the Lord will be with the elect in Jacob's trouble, man. You know? And, like I said, the Lord going to be uh, trying the elect, but, you know, the elect is going to prevail and overcome, and they're going to be saved, man. So, you know, Lord willing, I'll get and until uh, next time, shalom.